Hello, we are Husky Robotics from the University of Washington. Now in our 12th year of operation, our team employs a two-year design cycle in order to build, test, and develop our rover. This year, we are proud to present Prometheus. The new mobility unit this year maintains many similarities to the previous years, including the frame design, skid steering, and 1.3 meter per second top speed. However, we introduced a significant change in the drivetrain. This year, the rover features a tank tread system designed to minimize vibrations, keeping the arm and instrumentation unit steady while providing increased traction. This new system also lowers the rover's center of gravity, removes the risk of a flat tire, and reduces the chance of getting stuck in any ruts. The proven frame design includes secure housing for sensitive electronics, such as the onboard NVIDIA Jetson, in-house fabricated motor controllers, and the battery as well. Quick-release clamps allow for efficient swapping between the arm and instrumentation modules, maintaining the modularity of the rover's design. This modular approach helps reduce weight during missions by carrying only the necessary components. The use of welding in the frame reduces our weight and increases the strength of the frame as well. The rover is accompanied by 10-inch UAV drones, which is capable of accelerating 56 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. It is powered by SpeedDB, F405 flight controller, 900 kV motors, equipped with scrubbing mechanism for picking up objects. The ARM team is proud to present our newest design for our 6 degree of freedom ARM, capable of lifting 10 kilograms within a 1 meter range, constructed with a carbon fiber body and an aluminum body in the side by side joint configuration. This ARM incorporates precisely machined worm gears and critical joints to prevent back drivability addressing long-standing issues where joint motors need constant power to maintain a fixed position. Additionally, we are keeping with the use of a slew bearing and the base of the arm for smooth movement and actuation under heavy loading conditions. The arm end effector features an innovative adaptive grip design controlled by a differential gearing system that enables rotation across multiple axes and allows for complete revolutions. Subsurface soil samples are collected using an auger that is lowered to the ground using a four bar linkage. The auger is lowered using a motor with encoder to precisely keep track of its depth in the soil. The first 10 centimeters are rejected and the next five centimeters are kept for judges sample and soil analysis. The drill platform also has methane and carbon dioxide sensors alongside a self-focusing microscope, which is used to observe the soil grains in high resolution. Samples are deposited onto a sample carousel, which can hold soil from three sites. Test strips are lowered into a soil water mixture to search for bioindicative molecules. A Bure test will be used alongside a visible light spectrometer to quantify the presence of proteins in the soil. Soil is also deposited inside a sealed box where a Raman spectrometer will scan for a multitude of highly Raman active biomolecules. The data from both spectrometers is sent to the base station to be interpreted in real time by the operators. Throughout the year, our manufacturing team conducts trainings to develop and enhance the team's capabilities in manual and CNC machining. Our machine shop and training program has allowed us to make complex custom parts quickly and efficiently. The manufacturing team is also responsible for enforcing good design practices through workshops such as design for manufacturing and continuous critical design reviews. Our electronics subsystem focuses on delivering reliable modular power distribution, motor controls, and telemetry data collection. To enhance the reliability of network communications and to minimize miswiring, we use a combination of stacking headers and key wire connectors reducing the overall footprint of the electronic components inside the rover chassis. The rover's operations are regulated by custom PCBs, designed using Ultium, and manufactured by hand. Additionally, every board comes with integrated voltage and current protection. We use a custom CAN protocol to communicate between boards on the rover. Team-built firmware interfaces with various motors and sensors to handle control loops and raw data. We utilize Infineon's PSOC microcontrollers, which give us access to powerful hardware resources to control our rover with reliability and low latency. Husky Robotics software infrastructure includes a web UI that interfaces between the operators and the rover. Particularly, low latency video streams allow our operators to maintain situational awareness. Running on our robot, sensor fusion algorithms give us high accuracy state estimates, which we feed into a global planner and local controller for long distance navigation. Additionally, our kinematic control algorithms, both forward and inverse kinematics, enable precise and agile manipulation with the arm. We also leverage a 3D simulator for rapid testing of new navigation systems and arm control algorithms without worrying about the associated risks of hardware damage. We'd like to thank our sponsors for their contribution.